So we have right now a live guest, I think, Max. Another Fellas. friend that's been on before. Mr. Dave fucking Bolin. What's, What's going on? Holy fuck, what a treat this is, Daddy. Oh, there he is. Daddy. Fuck. He I, wasn't, is. I, I wasn't even watching the game. I was just watching you guys. That's unbelievable. That's what we like to hear, buddy. Don't worry. We're not watching the game either, Bully. We're just here shooting <laughs> shit. Welcome, bud. So how's, how's life? What have you been up to since we last left you? Are you in Florida still? No, no. I'm in, uh, I'm in London, Ontario, so I'm just chilling. I'm not, uh, I'm not doing much. Just uh, hanging out. It's snowing here. I wish I was in Florida, but uh, Quinville's renting my house right now. Oh, Quinville's renting the house, eh? You got to look after daddy, eh? You got to look after daddy. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got it. You got it. Hey, Bully, I don't know how much. Have you been watching the Panthers? Because they cost me a little bit money, a little money early in the season because I didn't believe in them. But they're pretty fucking good, huh? Oh, fuck yeah. Q's a, Q's a great coach, and he knows, fuck, he's, he, you see what, what he did with us. But uh, most of the, like, just what he's done with uh, them and with us. And I think uh, Jimmy can can step in that too. But uh, he's a smart guy. and once he gets your team going and has the smart things going, he's a, he's a good coach. He's unbelievable at getting people to buy in, isn't he, Bully? That's why I think his team is so good. Yeah, 100%. 100%. He's, he's, he's always – you know that, Jimmy, but uh, he's always been uh, – he's been a guy that, that's great with players and team management yeah, and, and everything. That he, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Bully, did you see last week? Did you see old Johnny Huberto fucking do the old fucking Patty Kane? And like, I did. I did. Yeah. And Patty, and then Patty Kane did it last right night. Up. What's that? I said, then Patty Kane came last night and did it. I <laughs> wanted to ask you about that, too. There's no one better than this fucking 88, isn't there? Like, what no. the fuck is this guy on? No, no. He's, uh, he's, he's unbelievable. He's unbelievable. But he was actually, the year after we won the Moral Cup uh, in London, he was supposed to come uh, play with us in London. Uh, but uh, he didn't come through. So it was like me, Shrimp, and Hunter, and a few other guys. Fuck it. If he would have been there with us, we would have won another Memorial Cup for sure. Bully, I had Kaner on the power play this week with my boy Cooley, and I asked him, I'm like, Kaner, me and Bully became good buddies. We talk about the Hawks rivalry, Canucks. Was that the best rivalry for you? And he was like, he was like with us, Bully. He's like, yeah, man, it was, those rivalries were so fucking intense and like the best playoffs he said he ever played in. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Those are always the best playoffs. Like you can't go, uh, you can't go wrong with that. You'll, you'll never see a kind of, uh, that kind of, rivalry in the nhl anymore right like that was just like, i remember i remember the city one of the cities jumped me i remember you it was just on i'm not sure if it was on one of the tsn's but fuck i, I remember your helmet was walking down the aisle i was like that's fucking o'brien's helmet boom i remember just kicking down the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> i'm like this fucking bull and i know he's a beauty but fuck. <laughs> oh he was one of those guys until you got to fucking know him huh oh, and then oh, loops oh, hey so bully i didn't really know you either and then our boy fucking loops is like he gets you in toronto and he's like this fucking bully is a fucking legend actually i i, I lie i did meet you in chicago when you're winning all those cups we, we were partying with old terry duffy yeah, I remember those days. <laughs> is that we went to? Uh, old uh, is that we went Terry to Ryder, Ryder Cup? That was at the Ryder Cup. That was probably when yeah, we first met yeah, each other. Yeah. yeah. Obi and I were bouncing around the Ryder Cup and then hitting up my morning jacket shows at Chicago Theater. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what a day. Hey, hey Bulls, it's your boy Flowers. What's up, buddy? Oh, fuck. Flowers. <laughs> my What's going fucking on? boy. Flowers, you probably touched the cup more than me, eh, bud? <laughs> <laughs> We apologize, Bully. Hey, Bully, you played in a couple outdoor games, right? I played in the one, the one at uh, the one at uh, at uh, Cup Big Stadium, uh, Wrigley. No, Wrigley. Oh, but really, how was the the weather conditions here? It seems like we got a little bit of delay there. Was that a big factor in the game, or was it nice and cold up there? No, no, it was too cold. There's actually the wind was going uh, the wind was going hard the one way. So when um, when uh, it came to the third period. We had to change sides because the wind was flying and the wind was going so hard that we had to switch sides and go go uh, different sides because the wind was blowing so hard that it was pushing our guys forward. Uh, so us in Detroit had to switch 10 minutes into the third period. We had to switch ends because we were getting the advantage. Oh, because it was into the fan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah cause the wind. We want to play fucking downwind here for a bit. <laughs> hey, hey, you can use, uh, boys like us, we can use all the help we can get. Fuck, my whole career I felt like I was skating in the wind, bully. <laughs> hey, bully, one of our listeners, Colin McDonald, says, Jesus Christ, I can't escape this bowling fella. Guy ruined my birthday in 2013. 
Thanks a lot. My Venmo is open. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I think I ruined a lot of people's guys' nights. I remember Thorny, I think it was Sean Thornton, once I got the floor, when I got the Florida there, he uh he said, You fucking ruined my day. He's like, I was supposed to I was supposed to go play Augusta with uh Keegan Bradley and that. He's like you fucked that up. I was like, fuck, sorry. You told me before. <laughs> hey, this this is not an ad read, but Bulls, you're the owner of the sickest watch in the world. Seriously. He bought the sickest watch in the world. Let's the see it, Bully. Is it on your wrist? Let's see it. Go get no, it. No, no, it's upstairs. Go get it. Let's get see it. it. It's the Paddock 5980R, all gold. Uh, Patek Philippe. I'm not even going to say how much it costs because people listening and watching won't even believe it. It's a legit. The, the question is, boy, did, oh, he's going to get it. Fucking yeah, right. <laughs> did the paper? Did you get the papers with? Is it official or did you? Is it stolen, Flowers? I'm not going to say that. <laughs> yeah, okay. However, I can. Well, game's back on at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Are you guys going to still broadcast? We'll be so drunk by then. Oh. <laughs> David, fuck, you're probably not, buddy. I mean, we might have to come on for a little te teaser, but 9, 9 p.m. tonight? Not, this guy, JD, are you are you true? Wow, game's back on at 9 p.m. Pacific. Are you guys going to still do the broadcast? Probably not. Flowers made it back with those cocktails? You did. I made it back with the cocktails. I met both through you, Uppy, when you, uh, when you guys were in Florida. Bully was fucking – Bully Boys was one of the best teammates ever. Showed up first every day, took care of the trainers, took care of the young guys, fucking la – always had a smile on his face. Fuck he, he, he liked to have a couple glasses of wine on the plane with me too. Fuck, remember that flight, boys? He was making seven fucking bananas. I'd yeah. be smiling too. But he's a happy camper. Yeah. He's, he's back on. There he is. I was. literally he's call him daddy. Camper. There he's we go. I took. He took me one time to oh, yeah. the Vuitton store. Let's see that. Oh. 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 Look at this thing. That's National League bully. That is. That oh yeah. Is, that is the finest timepiece on the planet. That's Thanks, my favorite. Wow. God damn it! Are you wearing that thing, or are you just keeping it in the safe? I just keep it safe. Fuck, you're a legend. Hey, man. Smart guys know what smart plays are. Daddy, it's like, when are you going to buy me one of those? Whenever you want one, kid. <laughs> hey, I'll talk the flowers. Bully, I don't know if you saw this on the Mystic Curfew clips, but it summed up it summed up Bully to the Vancouver Canucks in a nutshell. Sadine's changing, and Bully just sticks him right <laughs> in the fucking elbow. Sadine goes bananas. I'm like, that. that's what Bully did to them for two fucking years straight right there. No, hundred percent. Fuck, I remember those. <laughs> like those were those were probably the best game. Those could be the best games we could ever fucking play in. Like, you look back now, those were the best games that we could play in. But it was, it was like, like Obi said, like th those were those were fun times, and like we had a ball playing in them. Yeah, balls. I just started laughing when I saw it. I was like, fucking ball. It just took it took me back to just being like. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you ever want to stop him? Bully, yeah. me and me and uh me and Jimmy Broadway here were looking at photos yesterday on our phone while we we're playing blackjack and fuck did I pull up that one of you in the kitchen and had, uh, well <laughs> we have a lot of sick photos by the way. <laughs> but you in the kitchen at West Oak for our rookie party where you where you were behind showing oh, the chefs how to do the fucking kabachi, the fucking Oh you know, boy. <laughs> you're like you're like, what do you guys want? What do you want? You want chicken fried rice? I got the chicken fried rice. I got the chicken fried rice. <laughs> that was fucking one of the funniest videos I've ever fucking seen in my career, man. Fuck. I think that was the, uh, that was at six AM, wasn't it? <laughs> hey, Bully, it was a late one. Bully, you share the listeners any any uh rookie parties besides that one that stands out for you? Uh, probably my probably my first rookie party in Chicago. Uh, we we were on uh what's that Sunset Strip? Uh, I forget which uh which restaurant it was, but we were buying uh we were buying Kobe beef. Well, it was my rookie party, but we were buying Kobe beef, and I remember it was like me, uh, I think Ben Eager, he was there, uh, a few other guys, and uh, I remember we were just sitting on top of this restaurant, and we were chucking Kobe beef at cars. <laughs> Why was it that Eags would always like to throw shit around? Fuck, I've seen that guy throw either food or beer bottles or fucking. Any, like, fuck, it was hard to keep that man under control. He sure did a number to that sprinter we had from Fort Lauderdale, Miami. That was oh, so. I don't know. that was a low point. That was a low yeah. point. I know you and I have been chatting up a, a, a quite a bit about you eventually being able to get out of town and uh, coming down to Newport Beach. Come hang out with the boys and chuck this. Uh, Chuck the uh, play some golf with the boys. Oh yeah, I'll be down once we can travel. Once oh, all this Corona, this COVID's fucking done. This Ryan Drummond saying you guys got to get some golf in with Bully at Red Tail. Is that a sick track? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, I'm a I'm a member at this uh, course here in London. 
it's a uh, pretty private it's a great course uh it's here in london whenever you fellas want to come down come play it i'll take you guys out and then andy search says bully still getting paid question mark thanks hashtag uncle dave <laughs> no 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 that's that's uncle dale uncle dale uncle yeah uncle dale. Dale. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Bulls, I've been, I've been impressed with the Blackhawks, man. And honestly, with Taves out, just have you been watching the Hawks and what Kane's doing there? It, it probably doesn't surprise you, right? No, it doesn't surprise me. But uh, they're like, like – I kind of didn't I, – I didn't think they were going to do this well. I kind of had them at the middle of the, middle of the pack. But um, but when you give Kane free range, uh, he can he can put a show on. But you still got some, some good good guys still there, right? You still – like you're still making, missing Taser. You're still missing Siebes. Um, but you still got uh, Debrinkat, you got Strom, you got that Ian Mitchell. Like you got some good, good young guys coming up there that that are going to step up here and 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 be good for them. Yeah, hey, boss, you, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Maybe you don't know. Have you heard anything about Taves? Or what's going on at all? Or, or no, not? I haven't heard. I haven't heard anything. I'm not. I haven't. Uh, I haven't talked to him or anything. So I hope he's doing good and hope hope he's all all good and everything's okay. But uh, they're missing him. Bully, are you still getting paid by the Hawks or what? Who are you getting paid for? Paid by? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish. Someone. You get paid for someone to watch. You drop on <laughs> How much commission do you make on that watch, bar? I can't tell you in front of him. Hey, Bully. Well, I, I know he won't tell me. <laughs> You're supposed to say, I, think I can give my commission back to my clients. That's why I'm the best jeweler in the fucking national. I hockey. think you guys already know that. Bully, you know that too. Well, I know I you just touched on it, though. Some of those young guys. What's a, who's a young guy in Chicago that has impressed you and stepped up the most so far i'd have to say to bring cat like to bring cat's still one of the he, he's still one of those great young guys that that uh that's gonna be there but that ian mitchell he looks he looks good he looks steady i think he's gonna learn a lot from uh he's gonna learn a lot from uh dunks and probably learn a lot from sieves and, and all that and uh he'll probably learn a lot from our, our boy brookie from brookbank there so uh so uh, they got, they got some guys there it's so impressive that Duncan Keith can still play 25 minutes a night. It's just been like this entire point of his whole career. He just continues to find a way to just eat clock. Yeah, he's a, he's a machine. Like, he doesn't put anything bad in his body. Uh, he's one of those guys that just – he's always he, he's always looking after himself. And, hey, I guess that's why he play, he's going to play over uh, how many years. And he'll probably play until uh, till he's dead. Fucking A, boys. Well, we got a lot of time to sit and drink. I don't know what you're doing over there, Bully. You got any nice wine port here for this afternoon? <laughs> no, 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 no. I wish. If there was no 14 day quarantine, I'd be down there with you guys. I know, oh, I know. Jim, Jimmy oh, Hayes. Okay, so our boy Hayes, he's been fucking six months off the sauce, and, and now's not a good time because we got about a six-hour break before this game's gonna start to fucking play again. Well, uh, I'd be uh, I'd be at the fucking roulette and blackjack table. <laughs> <laughs> boy, I, boy, I said to Broadway, I said, listen, buddy, six months, and then you get through a weekend with me, and I'll be not drinking. You, you're, you're officially. Uh, you're officially an adult now. <laughs> coming along, boys. I'm coming along. <laughs> love it. Love it. Well, Bully, hey, but we don't want to keep you all day, bud. I know our fans fucking love you. We love you, but thanks no, no, for coming. No. Appreciate, appreciate hey, you too. Love coming on with you. Love coming on with you, fellas. You know that. It's always fun. You guys do a great job. Love it. Love you, Bully. Balls, I love you, buddy. I love you, See you, Daddy. fellas. See you, fella. Jeez, well, Bully, you, gotta, you, you know you can always count on a guy like Bully when you give him a call to either go out, go golfing, Fucking or come on a podcast, you know, come on a live stream. Guy's always ready to go. He's a good soul, man. He's yeah, a really, I've really never, good soul. He's a good guy. I've never gambled with Bully, but Broadway was talking about having Kahuna's like the up dog. I could see Bully fucking going hard charging at the like. Oh, he's definitely charged. I mean, I've seen him walk into a club. Uh, I think it might have been like eleven, and he had no problem spending it in there. So I can only imagine what he would do at a blackjack table. 